Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to map the right analog stick on the touch screen and on a controller as well on PPSSPP on an iPad using the App Store version of this emulator. And uh, the issue really is that on the PSP you only have one analog stick but there is no right analog stick. So a lot of the games used face buttons in order to control the view, but uh, with modern controls, you might want to use a right analog stick instead. And also on the controller as well, it's gonna be a little bit more natural, especially for a modern gamer trying to play these retro classics, then this is gonna be uh, a little bit more comfortable for you. And today I'm gonna to show you how to go ahead and configure that today. If you wanna find out as well how to actually set up Retro Arch, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for my video tutorial. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to do this on the touchscreen controls. So here we're gonna to go to settings and then we'll go to controls. And then here we're gonna edit the touch control layout. And then here we're gonna press customize. And then we're going to enable the right analog stick. And then we need to customize this. And then basically we need to change the bindings. So I'm gonna tap here, use custom right analog, and then we're gonna change all of these settings. So right analog up, we're gonna make into triangle. So it's equivalent of triangle here. Then down is X cross, left is square, right is circle. So it's gonna mimic this layout. So if we go back here, then basically we're gonna continue the game. And uh, you'll see that there's an analog stick here. What we want to do as well is just change where the location of that stick is. So we added the touch control layout and we can move this around a bit. So I'm going to move this in a separate location. Um, we can actually move these around a bit. So you could, you could do it like this. We can put these together like this, which mimics the dual sense layout like that. And then put it like that. We can also put a grid here so that it snaps a bit better. Make the grid size smaller that can snap together so they're better aligned like that and then press back and then we have dual analog sticks now so here you can see that we can we can have this fine analog control so that's the touchscreen side taken care of but uh, if you want to do this for the right analog stick of your controller as well what we can do is just go back to here go to settings so on the controls what we want to do is go to control mapping and then we want to tweak these controls. So we want to do a similar thing here. I get the triangle control, and then we want to take the the one that we're not using here. So keyboard, that's the one we want to replace because we're not, we don't have a keyboard attached. So you can tap on this, and then make press the new key for triangle. So up, and then we're going to go to the square button. Then we're going to press left, and then for the then for the X button, we're going to go down. And then for this, then for circle button, we're going to go right on the analog stick. And that's basically all of these analog stick mapped to here. So Z axis, Z rotation, Z axis, Z rotation. So plus or minus on all of those covers all the directions. So if we go back now into the actual game, then you'll see here that I'm actually have this configured so that the right analog stick is now controlling the first person view of this game. So I can now use two analog sticks to basically control this game now. And of course, if you wanted to invert it, you could just do the opposite way around and you can play this game properly. So anyway, that's how you go ahead and uh, use the right analog stick on touch controls on our controller controls on PPSSPP. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.